The man who gave the world evolution was destroyed by a 10-year-old named Annie. In 1851, a naturalist retreated to the English countryside, surrounded by fossils, beetles, and books he no longer trusted. He had once sailed the world aboard the HMS Beagle, collecting the bones of extinct beasts and marveling at nature's brutal efficiency. But at home, he wrapped his daughter Annie's curls in tissue paper. He had taken her to the seaside spa at Malvern, praying the waters would heal her despite knowing better. When she weakened, he stopped attending church. When she died, he stopped pretending to believe. In the weeks after Annie's burial, he wandered the garden muttering about worms, rot, and invisible battles for survival beneath the soil. Grief, not ambition, forced him back to his desk. Then silently, he began writing again. Not a eulogy, a theory. One that explained not just beauty, but extinction. How life clawed forward, red in tooth and claw. He never spoke of Annie again in public. But behind the cool logic of On the Origin of Species is a man who saw God die in a sick room. His name was Charles Darwin. And the cost of evolution was his daughter.